Hey everybody, what's going on? It's uh, Mac here. Welcome back to another new video. Today I'm going to be doing a viewer request to talk about editing the uh, artwork in uh, Plex. So uh, let's go ahead and get started with that. Now, if you don't know um, how to set up libraries in Plex, um, I've already made a couple of videos about that, and um, it's, it's a fairly ubiquitous thing. So you can find information about that all over the place, but essentially just hit plus, pick a type of library, and then pick a location. And uh, once you ha get that all set up, you're gonna have um, you know a few movies in here. I've just uh, grabbed a few movies off of my main Plex server to uh, work with here. Um, so let's just uh, kind of pick the first one and get started. Um, so we'll pick something that I think is gonna have some alternate covers. I feel like I have, yeah, here we go. Um, Interstellar. This is a, a pretty great movie. Well, you know, that's a little controversial, but I liked it a lot. But I know for a fact that it's got several different posters. So if you don't like this original one, there are at least four or five others that I know were created. So I'm going to show you a couple of different methods to change the artwork here. Uh, and then I'm going to show you a few of my favorite places to get uh, basically third party artwork from. So when you're in the Plex app, and in case you're curious, I'm using kind of the, the uh, third party, the uh, Plex media player app that's available on OS X to edit here. Um, but when you're in either the web app or uh, this app, itself. You can hit this edit button and then if you come to the poster option uh, you'll immediately get several options that Plex has loaded from its own uh, internal um, libraries that it uses. Uh, we can pick one that we like. It will also load a few uh, just thumbnails from the video itself down here at the bottom. We can pick any of these that we like. Hit save changes, give it a second, and our poster will automatically be updated. And that's kind of the quickest and easiest way, but it's not always the most consistent. Um, it's not a huge deal, um, but I like for posters, you know, generally to be pretty consistent. And one of the best ways to do that is to make sure that you get all of your posters from one database. And while Plex does connect with several databases, it's not always super consistent about pulling the same artwork and it doesn't necessarily have any kind of priority or anything. Um, and so it's really handy that up here at the top, we get an option to either choose an image from our computer or to add an image from a URL. So let's go ahead and do that. So if I come over here into the Safari, we basically have two websites loaded up and these are pretty good places to get artwork from. Uh, IMDB, if we go ahead and search up, you know, basically any movie that has ever been made, you're gonna be able to find on IMDB. We can thumb through these pictures and find a whole bunch of thumbnails and banner images, all sorts of stuff and generally find what you want. But probably my favorite way to um, get images is from this cool website uh, made by a uh, freelance developer here named Ben Dodson. Um, and he created a handy web app. It, it, and this app is going to essentially just let you download artwork from the iTunes store, which is one of the more consistent uh, libraries out there. You know, all the posters are going to be relatively the same resolution and aspect ratio. And I find that oftentimes they also have kind of a more consistent design scheme than others. When we do have an image that we like, so we'll go ahead and find one here. Um, let's get the high resolution, why not? It's, it's, it's 1 a.m., the, the internet should be going relatively quickly. Nope, I'm wrong. So we'll just get the normal resolution here. Um, basically, we have two options. We can either copy this uh, URL up here, or we can save the image to uh, our downloads. So save it. And then if we come back over to Plex, again, we have the option to upload that image and it will be added down here at the very bottom. Or again, we can just pick an image from a URL, hit upload, and again, it's gonna be added down here to the bottom. Um, one other thing that I guess we should talk about when we're talking about artwork is uh, these background kind of banner images that Plex utilizes. It's not actually going to do it in this app. Uh, I think that's just because I'm recording at a lower resolution than normal. Um, but this is utilized on the TV version of any of the apps in both the iPhone and the Android app. So it also makes sense to find a background image that you like. And again, you're going to have some options, a lot of them just being thumbnails from the movie. But this is where IMDb, 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 <laughs> Internet Movie Database, IMDb. Uh, is actually going to come in handy a lot because you're going to get some nice marketing images, 
and also probably some just really good high quality stills from the film. So you can find one that you like. This is kind of a, whoa, that's a crazy face, but um, this is a pretty good one. So we'll save that one. Just copy the image address. And then it works exactly the same as the posters. Upload it. And it's going to get added to the end of the video. Save all those changes. And now we have some nice Plex artwork. And, and that's about it. It's a, it's a pretty simple process. Um, like I said, it was just a viewer request. But one other thing that I thought we could do, uh, since this was such a short video, is at the end here, I'll, I'll give you a little tip that I use for Plex a lot, um, especially in the case of TV shows, um, because Plex actually has a pretty specific um, way that it wants, especially TV shows, to be uh, named. Um, if you go to the Plex website, there's actually a whole lot of information about this and samples that you can look at, but it can be a bit uh, taxing um, to go through and rename each individual episode of a TV show. So what I like to use is a little app called Rename. This is a great OSX app. It's actually really handy for like ingesting footage, I guess. But what it basically is does is it's just as simple as it sounds. It's an app for batch renaming files. So we'll drag all of our files in here. And uh, if we go and come over here and look at the naming schematic that we're supposed to use, we're supposed to use a show's name, dash, season number, dash, episode number. So pretty easy to do that. We'll click this button that says new name. This is uh, an episode of Wilfred, or epi several episodes of Wilfred. Um, and then we will use this dash. We'll do, this is SO3, season three, episode. And then we can serialize these, set it to be after the name. And then we're gonna get uh, a nice system for renaming all of our episodes. And it's gonna line up pretty nicely as long as they're in alphabetical order. Rename all the files. And now these are all renamed and ready to be imported into Plex. So we'll do the same thing again with this fourth, fourth season. Wilfred, SO4 episode. Am I doing this right? I am. And then rename all the files. Okay, that's uh, kind of all that I've got for this video. I, I do hope you liked it and uh, learned something. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. But uh, anyways, that's it for now, and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.